Hey, this is Jared, and I'm putting together this little demo to show you what Vertex covers are and how they are one of the classical NP complete problems. But I'm going to try to explain this to you in pretty simple terms, and hopefully, it'll make, make some more sense. So, if you have some nodes in a graph, just like so, then in their edges are, let me switch colors here. Just one second. and their edges are connected like so you want to find the minimum number of vertices that will include all of the edges so in a simple triangle we could do that just by saying this one and this one and in that case all of the edges of the graph will be covered by these two vertices the triangle is a pretty simple case so why don't we try a different one So here's a little bit more complicated example. If we have a graph that looks just like this, and it's going to be connected using, again I'll switch to a smaller thickness, it's going to be connected just like this. Now a simple vertex cover could include all of the vertices in this graph. That being said, if I selected all of these vertices, every single edge therefore will obviously be included and I'll have a vertex cover. Finding that is trivial but it is much harder to find the minimum vertex cover that would mean the minimum number of vertices that can cover all of these edges. So in this graph we have five edges sorry six edges and we want to, again, we want to find those ones. So, in this example, we could pick this one right here, this one right here, and this one. Now, it's okay that these two vertices share an edge. We just have to require that one of the endpoints of each edge is in the vertex cover. That is the definition in a short two and a half minute video, and I hope that'll help you out with vertex covers. Thanks.